Have you ever wondered about the journey of a man who rose from the ranks of a Granthi to become the first Sikh president of India? This is the intriguing tale of Jiani Zail Singh, a man who etched his name in the annals of Indian history. Born as Jarnail Singh in the princely state of Faridkot in 1916, he was trained as a Granthi, a religious preacher in Sikhism, at the Sikh missionary school in Amritsar. Here he earned the title of Jiani, which translates to a learned man. His early life was marked by political activism, and he was associated with peasant agitations and the movement seeking a representative government in Faridkot. His political activism with the Praja Mandal, an organization allied with the Indian National Congress, led to his solitary confinement from 1938 to 1943. This time in jail inspired him to change his name to Zail Singh. After India's independence, Faridkot merged with the Patiala and East Punjab States Union. Singh served as its Minister of Revenue and Agriculture during 1949 to 1951 and introduced land reforms in Punjab. He was a member of the Rajya Sabha during 1956 to 1962 and a member of the Punjab Legislative Assembly during 1962 to 1967. He served as the Chief Minister of Punjab from 1972 and is credited with establishing India's first semiconductor manufacturing unit in Mohali and legislating the Punjab Land Reforms Act of 1972. However, his tenure wasn't without controversy. Singh and Sanjay Gandhi extended political and financial support to Jarnail Singh Bindranwal, a radical Sikh preacher. Bindranwali soon became the flag bearer of Sikh separatism, and an insurgency seeking the establishment of Khalistan broke out in Punjab. In 1980, Singh was elected to the Lok Sabha and was appointed India's Home Minister by Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. Two years later, he was elected President of India, succeeding Neelam Sanjeeva Reddy. His presidency saw several tumultuous events including Operation Blue Star, the assassination of Indira Gandhi, and the 1984 anti-Sikh riots. Relations with then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi took a downturn as Gandhi refused to meet or inform Singh on matters of policy. In 1986, Singh employed a pocket veto on the Indian Post Office Amendment Bill passed by Parliament. Allegations of corruption in the procurement of howitzers from Bofors and the government's refusal to furnish the documents sought for by President Singh led to speculation that Singh intended to dismiss the government. In summary, Jiani Zail Singh's life was a riveting tale of political activism, leadership, controversy, and resilience. From his early days as a Granthi to his time as the President of India, Singh navigated a complex political landscape, championing causes close to his heart while dealing with significant challenges. His story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the indomitable human spirit.